Hello Palace of Ground Crew, welcome back to my channel again. Well, I'm actually just in the process of making a video of uh, building a new frame. Right, because uh, I've got a new frame, I uh, picked it up in one of them Good Friday deals or whatever. So I thought I'd make a video about it. And I've come across a problem, well it's not really a problem, but it's an issue that a new pilot may come across and think, what the hell do I do now? Alright, so I thought I'd stop making me video about the frame I've got, alright, and actually make this separate video to show you how to solve a problem that you may come across, alright, if you're a new pilot. Now, it might sound a bit technical when I get into it, but if you are a new pilot and you have this problem, if you go back and watch a video a few times, it will sink into your head, alright, and if not, just leave a comment. Right, and I'll be happy to help you with any information. Right, so what's the problem? I've got the quad put together, right, and I literally just got it on the computer now, basically, and uh, setting up Betaflay, and set it all up, and I'm doing my motor checks. Motor 1 spinning fine, motor 2 spinning fine, went to spin motor 3 and motor 4 spun. Went to spin motor 4 and motor 3 spun. So basically, from the 4-in-1 ESC to the flight control board, they're not communicating properly. All right? Now, I've looked or re-looked some I missed, right? Well, to be quite honest, I didn't really look properly right at the instructions of the, uh, the flight uh, of the 4-in-1 ESC because not being clever, it's something I've dealt with quite a lot and you don't really pay attention with the instructions when you've done it a few times. However, uh, I'll leave the photograph up, right, the 4-in-1, well first of all I'll show you the flight control board, it's a uh, Hack RC F4 flight control board, and where the ESC connects into, it runs from uh, motor 1, motor 2, motor 3 and motor 4, and it plugs in with like a little GST plug. Now on the ESC, right, on the output of the ESC, it outputs motor 1, motor 2, motor 4, motor 3, the way the cables run from the GST. Right? And because I'm using a little cable like this, right, a connection cable, so I plug one end into the flight control board, one end into the ESC and you're off. But uh, for getting your ground in your lab, like I say, these four wires that are left, right, the flight control board running one, two, three, four. However, the ESC is running one, two, four, three. Like I said, I'll try and put some photographs up. Uh, well, I will put some photographs up, all right, of the ESC showing you the way it's running and the flight control board. Right then, so obviously my motors are spinning wrong. So how do you get round this? Well, there's a few ways, right? I won't go too much into the awkward ways because there's an easy way, and that's what I want to show you by doing it in the software on Betaflight. However, if you're not that great with computers and you're a bit worried about changing software, which some people might be, get your soldering iron out. Find and I don't really recommend this, doing it in the software is much easier in the long run. Find your two wires, which in this case would be my last two, motor three and motor four. Cut them in half and re-solder them the opposite way around. So solder four to three and solder three to four. I hope I made that clear. And then when you check your quad, they'll run in the right direction because the board, the ESC board to the flight control board will all be nicer nicely linked up. If you're not using a GST plug on your flight control board, if you've simply soldered the wires to the board, which some boards are like that, simply unsolder number four, unsolder number three and swap them around. Sorted. No problem. However, if it's set up with a GST plug like this, right? I can't do that and the, on this particular flight board there's no spare pads underneath. Right, it's the GST plug or nothing. Right, so I either cut the wires, right, cross them over, which I I might have done right at the beginning 
but I've already built the bloody thing, right? So it mean unbuilding it, if you know what I mean, taking all the nuts and bolts off and pulling it out, getting at the wires, cutting the, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna mess about like that. And this is what I wanted to show you, the easy way of doing it in beta flight. All right, it may seem a bit complicated, it may seem a bit daunting, watch it a few times, all right? and it'll sink in. And as I said, if there's uh, any questions, just leave a comment and I'll be happy to get back to you. So we're gonna have to go over to the computer now and uh, I'll talk you through what you need to do so that motor, when you check on beta flight, when you move motor three, motor three is actually moving on your quad. All right, so in other words, beta flight, your ESC and your flight control board all link up and everybody's happy and we're all going to pub for a party. Okay then, uh, let's get to the computer and uh, I'll show you how to change from motor 3 to motor 4. Okay then, uh, pilots, to the computer. Okay then pilots and ground crew, uh, I'll just show you first of all what the problem was in case uh, that description was a little bit confusing. Uh, I'm just going to plug my quad in to computer to beta flight. Right, hopefully you can also see the quad in the corner, I've got my little Mobius camera pointing at the quad. If I move over to my motors here, all right, I'll just plug in the quad just so you can uh, see exactly what is happening. Right then, okay, this motor here, which I hope you can see in that bloody camera, right, that is motor three and that is motor four, okay, motor three and motor four. Right, so if I power up here, motor three, You'd expect that one, but as I've said, there's a fault, so this one will move. So remember, motor 3 and motor 4, but they've got reversed with that ESC. So just so you can see here, I'm going to power up motor 3 just for a second. No, I won't until I... <laughs> do you understand the risks? Yes, I do. And... There you go, as you could see, this motor here was spinning, which is motor 4, so that is wrong. Alright, and if I just spin up motor 4 to show you. Right, yeah, as you could see there, the wrong motor is spinning, and that's what the problem is. So once I fix the problem, right, in the software, which I'll show you now, right, I will come back and show you the motor spinning again so you can actually see that the problem has been fixed. Alright, I'll just have to do a jump shot here because I need to unplug my quad and everything because you don't need your battery plugged in for this software. So just bear with me while we do a jump shot. Okay then pilots. Right, so how do you switch it round then? Like I said, it, it's not that difficult. Alright, but just rewatch the video a couple of times if you're not quite sure and leave us a comment if not. Alright, first of all you have to go into your command line. You'll have to bear with me here, I'm a lousy typist, right, but luckily there's not a load of uh, typing to do, not too much anyhow. And you type in the word resource. And enter. Now, forget all this stuff that comes in, you want to scroll right to the top. And you see these values here, alright, from, uh, if I just highlight it, motor 1 to motor 4, alright. These codes next to it, the B00, the B01, the A, the, you see them, alright. They're basically telling your flight control board and everything where your motors are for want of a better word, keeping it simple as I do, they're basically telling your flight control board, oh motor one's over here and that's its code number. Well as I showed you, motor three and motor four are spinning correctly, all right? So we need these codes, for motor three we need the A03 swapping with the A02 on motor four and vice versa, four goes to number three so we need to swap them two codes around now it's not difficult right your best bet is write all these codes down or copy and paste them right from there right but write all these codes down 
and simply uh, keep them somewhere safe so you've always got them right and then you know in the future which ones you'll have to change so how do you change them first thing we have to do is free up the space or get rid of motor 3 and motor 4 and then put the new values in and this is how you do it you go back down to your command line and you type in and I'm sorry like I said I'm a slow typist right but it's not that difficult oops see spelling it wrong resource motor 3 none and enter now that's freed up right there you can see on the bottom it's freed up motor 3 so motor 3 has gone all right and then again resource whoops haha <laughs> told you I'm a terrible typist <laughs> motor 4 none and that's freed up motor 4 as well so motor 3 and motor 4 have been uh, freed up basically to change so now we have to enter the new values them code numbers I showed you we're going to swap them around so from uh, motor 3 was A02 but motor 3 will now become A03 so how do you do that back type in again right and you type in resource mo motor 3 and this time you put the new code in and the code I want right is A02 02 and click enter you can see in the bottom left it's come up as set so now we want motor 4 doing so once again it's resource and the code for that is the one that was on number three so we want the, the new one which is eight zero three and that's the one that was on motor three so we've swapped them round click enter All right so motor three and motor four we've swapped them around now at this point before you do anything else you must type the word save and enter if you don't it won't work and you're buggered alright okay then <laughs> right if you want to double check right that the uh, the change is made you go back to your command line and type in you've guessed it <laughs> enter go up to the top now motor 4 now right as you can see there is a03 and it was a02 and motor 3 is a02 and it was a03 so you know it's worked right so uh, let's have a look at the quadcopter uh, plugger lipo in and spin it up again and see if it's uh, working how it should now all right i'm just going to do a quick little jump shot here because uh, i have to turn the mobius on okay so i'll catch you in a second right then pilots we're back uh, i've had to uh, my bloody mobius uh, run out of battery juice so i've had to switch to the big camera which i didn't want to get out but still right we've done all the uh, settings change so let's go back to the motors and uh, make sure everything's running so let me just plug the light pole in remembering this was motor 3 and it didn't work and that was motor 4 and it didn't work well they did it was the opposite way around though but just as remember this was motor 3 right so now we've done the software change if we uh, spin these up now all right we'll start with motor 3 all right which now that one should spin now which is brilliant and motor 4 
Perfect. So, it worked basically. I knew it would. I've had to do it before myself. Right. In case you was wondering if our else got changed, we'll spin up motor one, which would be that one at the back. I don't even know if it's in shot. It should be in shot, but I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, that's spinning fine. And motor two is the one in front right. Yeah, whoa, yeah, that's spinning fine again. Yeah, that's spinning fine. Right, so as you can see there, everything's working fine. And all we had to do was go into the command line, uh, change two things, and I'm not going to go through it all again to explain it to you. Right, so it's as simple as that. Right then, it's as simple as that. It's just a case of taking your code number from one motor, right, removing it, right, putting the new code number in, or when I say new, switching the code numbers around so you've got the code number for motor 3 the code number for motor 4 and you're just reversing them basically and it really is as simple as that even if you're not savvy with computers you don't have to be a computer expert right just follow the basic steps right of how I did it and I know I'm not a great typist right <laughs> I'm a terrible typist let's be honest here can't even spell to save my life half the bloody time. I have dyslexia, you see, I've mentioned that before, but uh, yes, I'm terrible at typing. I have to think about 10 times before I actually press the keyboard. Yes, but it's as simple as that, rather than cutting wires and re-soldering them together and stuff like that, which you can do. Like I said, if I'd have noticed straight at the beginning, if I'd have bothered reading the instructions of the ESC and noticed it went one, two, four, three. I had to probably just cut the wave, soldered them across, and that's it. Plugged it in, done. All right, but because it's already put together, no point stripping it all down to do that when it's real simple to do on the computer. And if you're a better typist than me, you'll do it a hell of a lot quicker than I did. Okay then, uh, pilots and gunker, I hope you found this useful, and I'll get back to my original video now about this new frame I've got, right? And I'm putting it together to show you. Okay then, uh, thanks for watching, that video should be coming up as long as there's no more problems in a couple more days. So thanks for watching and cheers!